Nice little latte to go. Rambler's Coffee Shop is finding ways to cope with Halifax's boil water advisory. We diverted the water from our espresso machine to just a big 18 liter jug of water, and we've been boiling water in our kitchen. Certain items are off the menu, but they're open while other businesses have closed. A large portion of the city, including the downtown core and surrounding suburbs, are under the advisory, affecting 210,000 residents. It was issued Monday evening after the utility discovered a problem at one of its major water treatment plants. There was a power interruption internal to the facility. It tripped uh, a circuit uh, and for some reason uh, that we still have not determined, uh, the backup generator didn't come on. Halifax Water says that means water didn't get chlorinated for about 30 minutes. At this point, the water would have been heavily treated, but uh, not chlorinated. And so Haligonians are stocking up on bottled water, some finding there's not much left. Right down to uh, bottled water with flavor. People are advised to boil their water at a rolling boil for one minute to try to eliminate any organisms. Hospitals are using bottled water, giving patients waterless baths, and have had to cancel some endoscopy procedures. The utility says it's now testing the water that comes out of that system every hour because it now needs the go-ahead from the province before it can lift the advisory. A situation Adam back at Rambler's Coffee Shop says he can deal with all things considered. Yes, this is inconvenient for us for one day, um, but a lot of people in Nova Scotia, Canada and really around the world deal with this every day. The utility says the advisory will be in place for at least another 24 hours. Trying to figure out just what went wrong and why the backup failed will take longer. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.